So hello guys and welcome here to a new video and today we actually going to talk about Moat and yeah Moat pretty much did do the airdrop today so you can claim your allocation today if you qualified for the airdrop and today we are going to have a look at what you actually can expect with Moat itself as also what they are going to do for the season 2 of Moat itself so there will be more airdrops in the upcoming future. And if that sounds interesting, well, I suggest you should leave a like, comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot. And without further ado, let's actually get started. So coming over onto the mode page, if you want to access the airdrop, actually, you just press join the airdrop and then you pretty much will be put onto this website. And then you will see pretty much the points that you accumulated, the leaderboard positions that you are the photons and orbs, which are NFTs that you could have collected. And then pretty much you just want to pretty much claim your tokens over here. Then you will be greeted with the allocation that you got. And then you also will be seeing mode season two has started. And as a holder of mode, you will be able to make key decisions that shape the future of mode. Again, that is regarding the staking itself and the governance feature of the token that they pretty much have. And for claiming pretty much, you just come over here onto the liquefy airdrop, claim your tokens with the mode network. And pretty much after you claim it, you can do whatever you want with it. It's fairly simple. Again, you just need to pretty much confirm the terms of service, I think, and that's pretty much it. And then you can claim. If you're in a location where you cannot claim, you could use a VPN to pretty much switch the location and then you are able to pretty much claim them. Again, what you can now do with the mode tokens, which I also did because for this wallet, I didn't really got a big allocation, got 191 tokens. We only did the uh, transaction on this wallet for layer three over here. so. If you use layer three and did the quests, then again, you got an airdrop for free pretty much, which again, it's not worth a lot, but hey, it's free money that you can use to even get more in the potential future. And now you can pretty much stake your tokens. I staked 100 of them. And if you stake 25% and 50%, and I think that's regarding the portfolio size, and here you can see the dollar equivalent of 25 or 50% of your portfolio, in mode for point bonus so that means right now we are not really getting anything because like 191 uh, tokens are not really one percent of our portfolio so that means we don't really get any point boost for that sadly but if you would for example have gotten a big airdrop for mode and you would have staked them then you would get a multiply boost for the points that you are earning and I'm not completely sure if the staked balance that you provide are uh, earning your points as well. It most likely should be doing that because else I don't see a point of staking their own token when you are not even getting any rewards for it. And when you stake them, you have a seven day um, lockup. And after the seven day lockup, you pretty much can withdraw them over here again depending on the play you wanting to participate. I'm just going ahead and staking mine, uh, staked the 100 as you can see right there and keeping the 91 in the wallet simply to see how we are getting the most amount of points regarding mode itself. Because right now you can see instead of the 70 points on Ethereum regarding the same amount of value you would get per day 141 points for holding the equivalent amount in mode because mode at the moment has the highest boost regarding the daily points which obviously makes sense it's their native token obviously they want to reward people holding their own token more than people holding other tokens but you actually have a quite variety of different tokens that you can select from again if you don't have any assets on the bridge yet there are a lot of bridges that you can use we already had a look at owl 2 or orbiter in the past which from any layer 2 you can bridge over and i think even on layer 3 you can also bridge over onto mode and then you pretty much are already set it's fairly simple you only need to deposit pretty much your funds on the blockchain and the moment you have them on the mode network you simply sit back and enjoy the points that you accumulate during that time 
depending obviously on what tokens you select is the amount of points you are getting again for example if you were users of usdt you wouldn't really get a benefit from holding them on mode but if you then again used merlin bitcoin or EtherFi wrapped ethereum you would get a benefit from the points and that's quite important if you ask me if you already hold tokens that pretty much would give you a boost why not just switch them over onto the network and get an additional airdrop for free because again if you use a layer 2 bridge for example like orbiter the gas fee that you are paying is not as high as the gas fee on ethereum so the price for you actually to make back the money is really really low and again we bridged over and pretty much got around 10 to 20 bucks for token for simply i think it was even five dollars bridging over doing a few transactions and sending them back uh, to orbit from afterwards because i only did them for the layer three quests that rewarded you with cubes and if i wouldn't have done them on that wallet i wouldn't have gotten any rewards regarding mode for example and even though the points are quite slim it's a decent amount of tokens that we got so for layer uh, for layer three uh, for the next season i think we can see similar things so again uh, just holding the assets on mode will be enough so you don't really need to do any transactions they are not really farming their users in my humble opinion their airdrop is actually kind of good managed um, because they don't really require you to use any DeFi application of course you are benefiting from it but simply holding it on the blockchain already is enough and that's something that i think more protocols should look at and again the distribution feels also kind of decent like in my opinion we got more than we even had on the chain and that already is a very good airdrop in my opinion and if all the airdrops would be like that again we would benefit quite a lot but yeah sadly that's not always the case as we saw for example with zero land in the past uh, yeah they pretty much didn't really manage to deliver a good airdrop pro um, product but here we got one of the best airdrops in yeah, in my opinion since long time uh, simply because they actually regarded their users even if you were a small users which again a few people might be which only have a few 100 dollars of funds to use on the network they got rewarded as well and that is fairly good in my opinion uh, there's no one really getting any uh, bonus amount it's fair distributed in my opinion and again that's pretty much it for today for layer um, for, why do i keep saying layer two for the season two pretty much again there will be 500 tokens that will be unlocked to earn and yeah that's pretty much it for today hope you guys enjoyed watching let me know if you participated in the airdrop and how much tokens you actually accumulated and also if you are going to participate in the next season of mode well nevertheless until next time bye bye